welcome to another video for Auto Solutions Checkpoint. Just letting you know the L200 is needing a flywheel. These Series 5 L200s have dual mass flywheels. And looking at the picture, whenever I bought this L200, there was not much of a rush. I kind of bought this one without checking it over properly and kind of overlooked. There was a wee bit of shake in the gear stick. Um, kind of overlooked that, it was a wear and knew that the clutch felt funny. That was a way back 2021 that I bought this. Um, so flash forward until November last year. It was actually October. Um, I got this stuck when I was attending a recovery. I ended up putting the vehicle off the road and I couldn't get back out of the hole because it felt that the clutch was given give away and wouldn't come out. So because I'm a mobile mechanic now, it's not really practical doing a clutch on the ground. So, I got one of my friends to do the clutch for me in November, and whenever he was stripping the, the vehicle down, he noticed that the John Mass flywheel did look iffy. So he contacted me to say, look, this John Mass flywheel is iffy. He says it's a bit false economy putting the clutch on the back together again he said we can only better than the dual mass flywheel. Well <clears throat> in theory yes but as it was coming up to Christmas it wasn't economically viable for me. You know it's kind of weighing things up making the kids happy or getting my L200 tipped off and see at the end of the day no matter what hands down my kids come first. So I put it off and just lived with it. Now see to be honest see from the clutch get done I noticed no difference whatsoever in the L200, the feeling of the clutch or anything, I didn't notice a difference at all and I just persevered with it but it's just getting to the stage now and it's doing my absolute head in so I thought, well I know there's certain cars you can get solid flywheels for because I had to do that on a Transit um, like I've got the solid flywheel conversion kit now I couldn't seem to find the solid flywheel conversion kit anywhere but I'd used Milner off roading several times but I didn't think of them for the clutch and I'm so glad I did because they done a solid flywheel conversion kit. Now for a dual mass flywheel the reason why I didn't get it before you're talking the guts of what, nearly £1200 for a dual mass flywheel and that is a big dig just before Christmas so I'm fairly justified in not getting that done because at the end of the day I've managed to get up until now from November and it's now July well, um, nearly, it's actually the 11th of July now, so I've managed to get all that time out of that dual mass flywheel. So, I, I'm just basically double handling. I managed to get the solid flywheel conversion kit for under £600. And one of my big mates, he's had a bit of space, he's managed to book it in for me. So, whenever I get back with the kids, because we'll be taking them away, um, my vehicle is going to be ready for me getting back to work. Effectively, it's going to save me money in the long run. Look at it this way. If I was to do the work on this on the ground, I'm out of work for maybe a, a day, two days. I don't know how long it would take doing this on the ground, but I really, really don't want to be doing it. If I had to take a day or two off not actually working this, that two days of money that I'm not making, compared to how much my friend will charge to do it, because he gave me a really, really reasonable price and stuff. I'm able to get back into the driver's seat when I get back off holiday with the kids. So it's going to be so strange, this L200 having a, a single mass flywheel, because the gear change is going to be totally different. But I need this here able to pull job. You know, I show up at a job to pull somebody out of a ditch. I want the, the peace of mind that I'm able to do it, because see China before, like, see what made what made me decide the other week was somebody had got their car stuck in my street and I was actually doing a scrap run that day and it was one of my pals that like, contacted me and said look somebody's put their car off the road in, in the street and he sent me a picture and he was laughing about it so I'm thinking right I, mean, I, I don't want to laugh about it I'll go and see if I can give a bit of help since it was in the area so I managed to pull their car out but to be honest, it just felt like <clears throat> my L200 clutch was going to pack in. So I'm justified getting it done now. Realistically, the only thing 
I really want to be doing to this. He wants to drill my spine over this one. Just serviced it as well. And there's a bit of the body work that left it down. And the back corner uh, where it's damaged. I had it repaired before and to be honest, the guy didn't repair the dent. Like he didn't knock the dent out, he just filled it with cavalry. A bit of a piss through repair. Um, but I hit it again and a big chunk of cavalry came out. So I'm going to hopefully get it in somewhere and get the body work done again uh, whenever it comes back. But I'm too minds what to do, whether I should sell this L200 on and get something else. I'm trying to get the X for something else. I would like to go back to the van. But the only thing is, if I go back to a van, I'm not going to have that three and a half ton uh, towing. So I need to look into if I can get a van with three and a half ton towing capacity that I can put my trailer on the back and be legal. I'm not sure if the Jumbo Transit, you can have a three and a half ton towing limit. But we'll see what happens. But anyway, I thought I would just keep you updated. Let you know what's happening. It's not a proactive episode, but just keep you updated for what's going on. Anyway, you guys take care and I'll catch you in the next video. Ten ten over and out.